Hello everybody, I'm David from Al Jazeera News. We are in the Sochi room where the delegates are discussing for find a right resolution. The delegates of Libya made an interesting purpose about the microeconomy. So let's get see the interview by Valentin Raut. You talked about microcredit to help mothers and uh, people in general to uh, access to education. How uh, would you do this? Do you have concrete example? So when we talk about microcredits and microfinance, it's basically giving accessibility to finance for the mothers. As you can see, the resources are not spread across the rural areas, so they're not accessible. <clears throat> so through microcredits and microfinance, we'll make it more accessible. The way of implementation is through something called mobile money. When you're using the mobile money, you can send funds through your telephone, through rural areas, for the women to get this money and empower themselves. Now we're also looking at microcredits from local investors and private investors from the local community. Not looking for international investors because that is going to bring unsustainability through debt. You talked about uh, free education uh, for uh, the children of the working mothers. You talked about loads of things to help uh, working mothers. Can you also give concrete examples, please? We have mothers in the rural areas who... First of all, their husbands don't agree that they have the same rights. So we have to educate the husbands on the grassroots to understand that their, their wives, if empowered, if working, can help them. Secondly, we're also looking at educating the boys in primary, in secondary education, in university, to have in the curriculum a system that will educate on gender equality throughout their school life so they grow up with these morals in them, knowing that a woman is also equal.